Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. This one is about making a manual multicam sequence as opposed to using the auto multicam sequence because for some reason Adobe just fails sometimes. These two clips I've got here in my bin, they are perfectly in sync. They were recorded in sync. In fact, the cameras, when I press record on one camera, it triggers the second camera to record instantly. So I know these clips are already in sync. When I try and sync them up in Adobe using the auto sync option, which you do by highlighting both clips and clicking, create right clicking, then create multi camera sequence. Um, I set it to key on the audio and click OK. And away it goes, trying to match the two files up. But I can tell almost immediately that this is not going to work, and I don't know why. It may be the audio on one camera is a bit quieter. I can improve the audio, but I don't need to because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a manual multicam sequence instead of using the automatic process. So let me cancel that. As you can see, it could not synchronize one or more clips, which if I'd have let that run, it would have said anyway. So how do you make a manual multicam sequence? Well, it's very simple. First of all, put your clips on the timeline and make sure they're aligned in this case i know they're aligned i'll check by turning one off i'll turn it on and off while i'm playing look so there we go off on off you can see they're perfectly in sync this is how i recorded them so now to make the manual multi-camera sequence which is very simple first of all what we do is we go to the actual sequence itself, which is here, right click it, click new sequence from clip. We do that, that now gives us our new sequence, highlighted in green. Come over here to the uh, new sequence, click on the timeline, click on the click sequence in the timeline, right click and select multi camera, multi camera enable. That's it, we've now enabled that as a multi-camera sequence, but we're still not seeing our multi-cameras there. So what we have to do is we have to come up to our program monitor, and if you look, you've got the spanner there. If you click on the spanner and come up here, you've got views. At the moment, we're watching the, col the composite video. You click multi-camera, straight away, you can see we've got the multi-camera view. Now, it's very important here, you've got the multi-camera record button. That must be set to on. If it's not here down on this bar, all you do is you press the plus key here, button editor, and you'll find it in there. Just click it, drag it, and drop it. That must be recording for multi-camera to work. So as soon as we press play like this, it's recording because it's red. And you can see we're operating the multi-camera. Uh, what we've got is we've got camera one on the left here, camera two on the right, and the output is what's actually being recorded. So I can swap between cameras like this. So if I swap to camera two like that, it's now recording camera two. If I swap back to camera one, it's now recording from camera one. That's how you make a manual multicam sequence in Adobe Premiere. If you look at this timeline here, you can see where it's made all the cuts between the two cameras. If you play it back, you can actually watch it doing it, as you can see. That was camera one, which we played about with. And then we'll come up to a cut in a couple of seconds to camera two. There we go. It changes over to camera two. And obviously, when we come to the next cut, it changes back to camera one. All you have to do is, uh, once you've gone through the sequence, determining the cameras you want showing, just go through and send it to a media encoder or encode it from Premiere Pro like you would normally do. But that's how you create a manual multi-camera sequence in Adobe Premiere 2023. I hope that helps. Uh, come back soon for some more tutorials from me.